Cheshire FA kicked off the 2013-14 season in June, celebrating the previous season's cup winners at the AGM. FA National Development Manager Nick Levitt popped in later in the month to give a talk to some of our members on the Youth Development Review. In July, County Development Manager Alex Bedford attended the opening of a brand new 3G at Christleton High School. The facility will support three of our Charter Standard Clubs. And friend of Cheshire FA and England legend Marianne Spacey dropped by to give us her thoughts on the women's game. August saw us draw the preliminary round of the Cheshire Senior Cup in front of our cameras and we hosted the first Cheshire Football Community Festival as part of Sir Bobby Robson National Football Day and the FA's 150th celebrations. Later in the month, a Cheshire Groundsman won a national award at St George's Park. September saw the 2013 awards evening. Our partnership with Retailer Sports Jam was launched and guests and award winners enjoyed the company of Cheshire referee Anthony Taylor and Crow Alexandra manager Steve Davis. The month also saw the first Just Play Centre open, one of five across the county throughout the season. And Knight came to Northwich to confirm their partnership moving forward with the Knight Park Scheme announcement coming not long after. Eight of our community clubs have now signed up. The FA's 150th celebrations continued at the Palace in October. Brian and Pat Maddock were two of three volunteers from Cheshire chosen to attend for their services to grassroots football. Young leader Georgia Moss went to St George's Park to receive her National FA Football Futures Events Theme Award. Moss Farm hosted the first T19 Girls Festival. Eight colleges from across the county were represented. Five worthy kids from Cheshire were given chance to be flag bearers at Wembley for England vs Poland. One given a special upgrade on a night they'll never forget. October also saw the first Panability Counts Festival take place. November started with a new walking football session at the Barony in Nantwich, the first of two now established. Four new football development officers were officially introduced. The first Cheshire FA Under-21s League kicked off with four teams contesting the inaugural season. Team 19 was officially launched in the county and the year ended with the first mashup centre opening, showcasing variations of football, one of 14 now running in the county. The new year saw the introduction of the first Cheshire FA small-sided league in Middlewich, one of two now running. And the Cheshire FA youth team bowed out of the FA County Youth Cup in the quarter-finals against Devon FA. February began with the Cheshire FA leadership event for young volunteers and ran by past attendees and members of the Football Futures programme. Marple Sixth Form College played host to the first Cheshire FA Youth Futsal Festival, Boys and girls teams competed across a weekend, many having never played futsal before. Six Cheshire Colleges attended the first Pan Ability Festival held in Warrington for students with an impairment or disability. And the FA's Mashup Roadshow rolled into Northwich at the end of February. Over 90 local teenagers took part in a variety of activities. England under-19s took on Turkey and Chester in March. Our Tesco skills team put in on show on the pitch at half-time and our recent stats revealed in the matchday programme. Our new football development officer for clubs and welfare officer were introduced and our support was declared for local charity Kieran's Cause throughout the month, which ended with a brand new power chair football taster session being introduced in Christleton. Cheshire FA and Premier League referee Mike Dean brought his colleague Chris Boyle along to our third referee academy CPD of the season in April. The Bentley Interdepartmental 11 Aside League got underway in Crewe, the second of its kind following the formation of the Stockport Business League. Dario Grady was proudly presented with his FA Licensed Coaches Club Contribution to Coaching Award at Crews Reeseve Training Ground. April also saw the introduction of Cheshire FA's new logo and the end of season finales to some of our cup competitions, including the storming goal in the Ladies' Cup Final and Northwich Victoria taking the prestigious Cheshire Senior Cup crown, beating Tranmere 2-1 in the final. Colleges from across Cheshire sent boys and girls to the Northwest T19 Festival in Warrington in May with some great football on show. The revolutionary whole game system was piloted by Cheshire FA and introduced to our clubs and leagues. An FA licensed coaches club coach support event closed out May, one of 12 delivered across the season to over 350 coaches. Here's to the start of another fantastic season in Cheshire.